Right, I thought I'd show you how to use my jack flask. Uh, the alternate way of using it. If you lay the jack flask down, uh, the burn, the outer casing, put the pins in, uh, makes it secure, not going anywhere. Oh, bell. Uh, <clears throat> You increase the surface area. I'm going to make a bit of a stand thing so I can use this a bit better. Uh, the advantage with the jack flask as it is anyway, the, the cup obviously sits in the outer case. Uh, you can fill the cup up with your sticky stash, put the mess burner in there, and if it's a bottle, a mess in there. Uh, but no bow. To be honest, it's a good cooker because it uses multi fuels. It'll use solid, it'll use liquids. Uh, and it's a very effective way, especially for backpackers, of carrying a very small kit and having a massively effective uh, burner. Uh, it may look like it's going out a lot of the time, but it's one of the simplest cookers to keep going. Uh, only using little sticks. Uh, I can use great big sticks once you get it going fully. Uh, and remember as well, all that in there is like charcoal now. Uh, it's just red hot inside, so it'll boil either way. Yeah, just stick your sticks in. Uh, big, small, doesn't really matter. Give it a stoke, get them right in there. And that is, that is a mile away from going out, let me show you. Couple of blows, away it goes again. Uh, um, yeah, jet boils are fantastic. Uh, MSRs, fantastic. Until you run out of the fuels for them. Uh, and then it becomes a bit of a dead weight to carry. Uh, you don't need any fuel with this. If I run out of mess, still got sticks. And as you can see, it does its job. Uh, all in the size of a jack flask. Uh, hope you like it. Uh, might try and make a video showing you how to make a jack flask. They're very simple to do. Yeah.